guys, welcome back to our channel. It's Yvonne from Ginger Chick Rehab. I'm so glad to have you visiting our channel again today. So I am super excited to share with you our adventures that we went on this weekend. My husband Chris, if you're new to our channel, this is our channel is something I do with my husband Chris. We do thrift store flips, we take thrift store found items, and we give them new life in here on our channel. We share the process with you all for our vision and what we do to these items, and then we get them ready to resell, and we sell locally here. We have a couple of booths at a local antique mall. So Chris was so kind. We don't really are not travelers, we're not adventurers. We love what we do, we love our home, we love working on our home, we love working in our gardens, we love doing YouTube and flipping all these found items. Uh, it just, it's our passion and we just thoroughly enjoy it. Probably one of our downsides is we probably you would call us workaholics, but we love it. So anyway, Chris was so kind. Last year around this time, we had a business out of town show up twice to Hog Creek Antique Mall where our booth is and they loved our stuff and bought our booth out not once but came back a week later and bought it out again what a compliment i have to tell you we were new to the booth still pretty much then and so yes it's a compliment but oh wow we had to get going and making some more inventory so one of the things that we always wanted to do that darn pandemic hit and we wanted to go and see this business, we wanted to check them out. You know, huge compliment to us that they loved our stuff. So it's only about hour, hour and 45 minutes away, but which sounds easy, but when you work and you stock a booth and you do YouTube videos and you're trying to get your lawn back in order from having your pool taken down last year, oh, there's just not enough hours in the day. So we finally felt like we were at a place where we could take a weekend and we could go check this place out and Chris surprised me with his trip. He looked up all these areas where there were thrift stores, made a little game plan where there were Goodwills and other thrift stores and resale shops and oh my gosh. So uh, this is what I'm going to have. I don't know if I'm going to fit it all into one video, maybe a couple videos, share with you the Burr's Gotta Five Vintage um, experience. If you're all near the area, maybe you already know the Elkhart, Indiana area. So I just want to share a little tour of their beautiful, oh my gosh, just absolutely beautiful shop. They're just, I I can't even tell you, you just will ooh and ah. And for any of the Ginger Chick rehab stuff to be even sold there, wow, what an honor. I do have to say that. So when you first walk into Birds Gotta Fly Vintage, they are just they, somebody greets you, they're very friendly, and you're just taking it all in. There's just so many beautiful pieces, just well done. Um, there's an upstairs, there's a coffee shop, they have a clothes area. I'm not really a clothes person, so I didn't, and I didn't want to drag Chris into looking at clothes. So I do wear clothes, but I just, that's just, I'm so simple. Target, Old Navy, Walmart, there's my whole wardrobe. I, I kid you not. And so, yeah, so grab a coffee. I love chai tea, so we grabbed chai tea and we just walked around looking at all their beautiful displays, getting inspiration from how she's decorated. Uh, oh my goodness. So yeah, I will share with you some of the inspirations that I thought were just, oh my gosh, just absolutely love them. And then when you go upstairs, they have some more. They And there it was, there it was, the Annie Sloan wall, that's the paint that they use and they carry and they resell. And then I'm like, oh, oh, oh no, just like the TikTok, oh no. Yep, there was the IOD stamps, IOD transfers, uh-oh, yeah, yeah, I might have came home with just a few. Um, but you know what? I don't feel bad buying from them at all because they bought from me and I would have ordered from another company online that doesn't even know who Ginger Chick Rehab is. So I am very happy to support their business the way they supported me. So what I'll do now is I will give you a tour of what their building was, what their the inspirations I got that I share I will share with you and then I'll come back in and, I'll, and then I'll show you what goodies I brought back with me. 
Okay, guys, look at this beautiful brick building. I have a passion for brick building. This probably was some type of a warehouse, I'm thinking, but oh, it just draws you right in. Just, just, it's just a side of a building, but oh my gosh, I just already love everything about it. I realized I did not re video this for my I, I, YouTube, I only videoed it for my Instagram. Yeah, you do have to flip your camera a different way. So here we are. This is actually a new room that they had just newly done, but I have a thing for pillows. So I, of course, this was the first room I was drawn right into. And I am so sorry, guys. I hope that I am filming okay for you because I know my eyes were moving all over the place. I'll share a little bit of the pricing if you're interested in it by flipping a tag over. But really, I'm just going to let some music play and you enjoy their beautiful decor, their beautiful inspirations, just taking it all in. Now y'all, I just wanted to pop in and said when I saw that white cottage at first, I thought it was Mary's for Mary's White Cottage Company, but it's not. I did look hers up and she has her little emblem of her house, but I did have to check it out. At first I'm like, oh my gosh, they know Mary too.
Okay, here's where the oh no, oh no, oh no guy came going into my like oh the selection. So I will say, oh my gosh, I had such a hard time picking out stamps. I'm like, okay, in my vision, I have to have a need for an item I'm going to use. I have to have a vision for what I think I can use it for. So I don't know about you all. I, I try not to buy without a vision. I do sit at the computer sometimes, but then I try to work with what I have make it work so um so my so the only stamp set i picked up from them from the iod was birds and branches um so it has some birds and some flowers and i thought perfect um i'm sorry that my ring light is taking the glare i love the birds i'm like oh i can picture the birds on some of my lazy susan some of my trays the flowers absolutely loved it I do think they're the same price as what you would be purchasing online. They do have an online store, you guys. So if you want to go check them out, yeah, now that I know that, I know where I can order my supplies from. You support me, I support you. Well, and I did pick up, you can't see it, but it's a new flexible mound. Um, I just chatted with them. If you watch my channel regularly, you know I've been having problems with some of my stamps staying stuck. And though we didn't really come to an answer of why and what to use, that they thought maybe it was the acrylic block or maybe it was the flexible mound. Um, even though I do clean those, I guess maybe I'm just hard on my products. I don't know. So I did buy for $2 a new mix. I don't really remember what each um, the stamp set was right off hand, but just like every company there that you go online, they're about all the same price. Now they did have a couple of, uh, they had some of the new IOD stamps that come in the books. So this is the sunflower and the peonies, I believe. Oh, Oh my gosh, I am super excited. I'm a sunflower. I absolutely love a sunflower. I wish we get our yard back to where I always have had a sunflower garden. Absolutely love watching the sunflowers change their big old heads, watching the sun all day long. So this is my first year. Well, actually my second year since we built our workshop going into the second summer that when we built our workshop, my sunflower garden got taken down. Oh my gosh, I absolutely love And then I loved watching the birds eat all the sunflowers. So I am a huge sunflower fan. So I hope we're trying to put a fence up, redo our whole yard. Um, so I'm hoping maybe next year I'll get to have a sunflower garden again. And my peonies, I had to transplant all those and none of them flowered this year. So at least I can enjoy some of them with these transfers. And then, you know, I'm a black and white girl. So, yep, I had to pick up these. Absolutely love that they come in books. Just absolutely beautiful. You probably have all checked these out. Oh, my gosh. Super excited. They did have a lot of their transfers on windows, as you saw, and on um, luggage. I never picked up any luggage. I don't know if they would sell or not. But you never know. I love it's like Instagram to me. Um, you can follow them on Instagram also, I do. Uh, that's how I get a lot of my inspirations between Pinterest and, insp and um, Instagram, just following others. Now I did pick up, and Annie Sloan has some stencils. 
So I, w I wanted to support Annie Sloan too. Um, so this is the Metal Flowers. So I, I can see that on the side of a drawer. I can see painting that on a window. Maybe if I'm lucky enough to find a flat piece of furniture. So absolutely thought. I love stencils, especially since you can reuse them over and over again. So now, yes, you see, I did pick up, I know I spent a little, you know what? They spent a lot of money with me, so I, I'm, I'm all good. You got to spend money to make money, right? So I did pick up this Frond Botanical. Um, it's the ferns. I don't want to open them. I'm sorry, guys. So this is what... And they have some little bitty, I love ferns. Do y'all love ferns? So I, ha I have a lot of those and they, they just grow wild around here. So you're all good. So absolutely loved, can't wait. Maybe, probably I can imagine doing this on a window. I may, I may have some windows in my hoard. Now, of course, I was super excited to actually see this one in person. I was always unsure about what what is this one called farmer's market and it's a soft black so it says fresh local honey i know y'all probably have seen it that have eyeballed the iod transfers like i do but they had it on a window yes you saw so then getting to see it on something really like okay that's the size of it that's what it looks like i think that that would resell in my booth and then this one is the same thing. It's along that market, that farmer's market that has is dear to my heart. So absolutely love this one also. Oh, just ah, so many decisions. And Chris just sat there waiting for me to make my decision. Okay, stood there drinking his coffee, waiting for me to make my decisions. And then I was on the fence about this one. I Classic bouquets. I'm slaughter words, so I'm not going to try to say that other one. Um, but, oh my gosh, just absolutely beautiful. I was on the fence, and then she showed me something that they had. Um, I don't think I filmed that one. Um, with this on, I'm like, okay, yeah, you sold me. I absolutely love it. So, I picked up that one, and then one more. This one was a farm and garden, some roses. I can't keep roses in my area to save my life. I get aphids and June bugs and no matter how much. So I never think they're very pretty when I have Siemens dust on them all the time. So, but pretty to enjoy. I think this would be beautiful on a window or on the right piece of furniture if it comes along. So that was all the transfers and the stamps I got. And so I did decide why I was there and they had the whole selection of Annie Sloan paint. They had a whole wall, which I didn't, I didn't video, I don't think, um, that had all their paint on like little pieces of wood, little edging, molding. And then they showed you, this is the paint with just clear wax. This is the paint with dark wax. This is the paint with clear wax and dark. I saw, wow, yes. So I did pick out another Amy Sloan paint because I had a uh, garage sale haul that I never showed you unless you follow me on Instagram because it was just somebody was selling pieces of furniture and I pretty much bought it all. So this is a greenish gray. So I did pick up two quarts of this and I thought it would be fun. I'm having fun with the gray and I, I'm... As you see, I got a little green on today. I, I stepped out. Target. Thank you, Target, for dressing me. Um, so I thought, well, hey, why not? It's gray. I like gray. I'm trying, guys. I'm trying to get a little, not so much black and white, but I got a little greenish gray going on there. So super excited to do that. And look how cute they package everything. Oh, my gosh. Now, I didn't really, I can't say that I bought... You know, you're inspired, you sell the kind of the same things. We're all out there thrifting, estate selling, whatever, to find these pieces. Um, so I can't say that I bought a ton from their store because, you know, I like what I have. But I did, look at how cute they wrapped this up. Let me unpackage it. I have a love of old Bibles. I really like black ones and I don't come across them very often. I know you're surprised, really black Yvonne. But she did I that's why 
She just had this little schoolhouse Bible. I think I paid $6 for it. I love that it's old and I love that it's weird. But this is this is kind of stuff that's true to my heart. So as soon as she walked in, she had a little display of some Bibles. And so yeah, I had to. I have some larger ones. So I was super excited about that. And then these are just, I just bought some warmers because like I said, I didn't. I wasn't really sure what I was gonna buy from them other than their paint and stuff, only because this is what I do. I basically do the same thing they do. I resell, I make over and resell it. So I bought, they had some soy warmers. So I bought a couple packages of those. So yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed the Birds Gotta Fly Vintage Tour. Oh my gosh, and if you're in the Elkhart, Indiana, area stop by check them out i've had a couple of my hair clients that have told me that they go there they just absolutely love it so that was a lot of fun so i thank you for watching today's video and i hope that you check um birds gotta fly vintage out on social media i know they have instagram i know they have facebook and don't forget to uh, follow me too on both of those social medias guys so thanks for watching today i'll see you next time